In this video, we are going to conduct a practical demonstration of the usage of the HMC voice command software for 3D Coat. Let's begin now by going to the scripts menu. And here toward the bottom half of the list, we will see start voice command. You can assign a hotkey to this that way. Each time you open 3D Coat, you can invoke this software with a hotkey. I have already set mine. To do that, you would simply need to hover over this option or any other option for that matter and hit the end key on your keyboard. That will allow you then to make the preferred assignment. Okay, so again, I will invoke this with a hot key now and you will hear an audible voice stating that it's listening and ready to accept voice commands. Voice control ready for 3D code. I am listening. Sleep. Beginning sleep mode. You must press wake button for me to start listening. It's important to re-emphasize what she just mentioned in that you have to come back to this panel and click the wake button in order to resume using the software. The reason for that is you can put the program into sleep mode with a voice command because it's listening. But once you put it to sleep, it's not listening for voice commands anymore. Hence, the need to click the wake button in the pop-up dialog. It will be in open microphone mode by default, which means there are no hotkeys or mouse buttons to push. In toggle mode, you can invoke the voice command software by holding down the middle mouse button or the right mouse button. If you're using a Wacom tablet, it works with that as well. I have one here and the buttons on the side are assigned to both of those. You may find as you're working from time to time, you hear a random voice in the background or random noises, maybe vehicles driving by and so on. In such a case, toggle mode might be your preference. Nevertheless, if you happen to work in a relatively quiet environment, then open microphone is probably going to be your preferred choice most of the time, as it does not require any hotkeys or mouse buttons to issue voice commands, thus making it easier and faster to use. Let's now look at a newly added feature, and that is the accuracy confidence parameter. The recommended setting is 0.2, where it will try to filter out most random noises, yet still be very forgiving. In short, a higher setting means a higher degree of ambient noise filtering, so you will have to speak more clearly. A lower value means less filtering, and thus your words do not need to be as precise. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to push this off to the second monitor and click the wake button. Transform. Select. Quads. Brush. Select. Vertices. Edges. Faces. Symmetry panel. Brush alpha panel. Brush panel. Retopo models panel. Layers panel. Paint objects. Sculpt. Paint, tweak, UV, render, sculpt, orthographic, front, left, right, sleep. Beginning sleep mode. You must press wake button for me to start listening. Okay, so I'm stopping temporarily to explain something here. If you are modeling, oftentimes you will want to make a selection that is clean all the way through. When you are in perspective view, as you know, when you make a selection on one side, 
you might accidentally select some vertices or faces that you don't necessarily want because of perspective distortion. And therefore, you oftentimes will go into an orthographic view to make that selection. When you're switching views, 3D Coat remembers the last action center you used. If you have been working in perspective view for some time and you're having 3D Coat rotate around your cursor, then you will see that going to an orthographic view, when you switch between views, your object will not necessarily be centered in the viewport because it's using your cursor as a center point. So we need to change that. And that's why this voice command software is very handy because I don't have to dig into the camera menu to activate this. I can just tell it, rotate around object bounding box. You could also set a hotkey if you want, but it's even more efficient when using the voice command software because I don't have to divert my attention away from the model and look at the keyboard for a hotkey combination. I can simply just say what I need and stay in a nice rhythm. So I will click the wake button once again. I am listening. Rotate around object bounding box. Front. Back. Top. Bottom. Left. Right. Left. Orthographic. Beginning sleep mode. You must press wake button for me to start listening. Okay, rotate around object bounding box is great when you are in orthographic view. However, when you're working in perspective, you will probably want to work around your cursor. You want to use that as your action center because it can be a little bit unwieldy trying to rotate around world space or an object bounding box. So I will wake the program back up and I will tell it to switch to this cursor based action center. I am listening. Rotate around current pick point. Transform. Clay. Rapid smooth. Pinch. Absolute. Build up. Extrude. Resample. Smart materials. Shaders. Stroke one, stroke two, stroke three, stroke lasso, stroke three, constant pressure, stroke one, stroke lasso, rectangle lasso. Stroke two. Brush. Move. Pose. Shift. Primitives. 
Import. Tree Generator. Logo. Sketch. Surface Hide. Rectangle Lasso. Unhide All. Sleep. Beginning sleep mode. You must press wake button for me to start listening. All right, I will stop the video here and we will proceed in the next video with a more practical setting for the demonstration. And I will also go over some new additions that have been recently added. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.